I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. The town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express output. Hmm, interesting. Well, I mean, in, in that case, I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, so I can see. Well, I was lost the package I was supposed to deliver. Maybe you could help me with that. I'll tell you whatever I can. If you have a delivery order, you can show me. What can you tell me about this? Tell me about this job. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it. But we couldn't turn down the cash. Hmm. What was so strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No. Let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up... So that must have been the cowboy guy, right? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Well, not for me to say. Mm, that's weird. Very weird. Some men stole my package, a man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about... Very interesting. Shit. One of those men did shoot me in the head. I mean, he left me in some pretty bad shape. I need to get to him. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were hmm. going. Very interesting. Let me ask him something else. Mm. I guess. Uh, let's see. What can I do to help? No, I want to see if anything's up for sale here. I need to sell some stuff myself here. Let's see. No, I don't want to sell weapons. I do want to sell weapons. This tire iron would be nice to sell. Just for that much. Let's sell one of these pistols. Er, just thinking out loud here. Get this out of here. Merc run armor. Outfit, excuse me. And I get the leather armor out of here too. And miscellaneous. Get another carton of cigarettes out of here. Gecko egg. Some hides for you. You can have. Of course, of course. He's also got a 10 millimeter pistol. A fairly expensive submachine gun. Which might be good enough to take anyway. It's a 9 millimeter machine gun. 88 8 damage, 88 DPS. 83 DPS, excuse me. And 8 damage would be nice. What's the 10 millimeter do? 11 damage versus... I mean, probably has... A lot of ammo as well. Let's see what the ammo, what his ammo looks like. Two, two, three round. Some twenty gaugers, bunch of nine gaugers. I'm gonna actually fill out on some of those. Any magnum rounds? By fifteen. I'm only giving him six caps. Let's see what I can loot from these guys. Give me a um, shot if you need anything else. What can I do to help Prim? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law, but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Well, I guess that makes sense. Let's let's just do that really quick. Okay, so 
A bunch of other random guys here, a bunch of prim residents. I don't think there's really much to do over here besides steal stuff and lose karma, but I obviously don't want to do that. So let's go and see what we can do about the sheriff who's all holed up in this place here. This godforsaken place. There's Bison Steve. This looks like where we gotta be here. He's inside here, but he's covered, like I said, by a bunch of those guys. So I'm actually gonna take out. Eh, I'm gonna keep this for now. Let's go into the Bison Steve Hotel. Try our luck. I know we're gonna get our asses handed to us. I'm actually gonna save the second I get in here while I think about it, just in case there's a load that we need to get into. Obviously, that was a good idea. Let's make a new save here. Just in case. I don't know why. Okay, let's figure this out here. Okay, this guy's about to destroy me, so... I'm gonna go for his head. I don't know. I don't really mind. Get him. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, he threw dynamite, though. That's not good. Okay, that did damage, I guess. Let's... Torso shots here. Maybe we can cripple his torso. Come on. I guess we didn't. Last one. Perfect. Okay, that fixed it. That fixed... No. There we go. Okay. Gonna reload here. Settle down. That was kind of scary. It was a scary start. Oh, we leveled up. Perfect. Okay, so let's put a bunch into barter. Make that 25. Make our explosives 15. Mm, so we got six more to go. Let's make speech 43. Guns 43. That looks good to me. What's our perk? Oh, we don't get a perk this one, do we? Oh, well, let's see what this terminal is. Ah, oh, you need science at 25. What's my science at now? i would be good to check. Now that I think about it. Stats. Science. What is that at? 13. Can't even boost up. That's fine. That doesn't matter to me. Okay, he's got some good stuff in here. Don't really need much of this. I'm just going to keep a lot of it to sell a lot of it. So, I, I'm just... You know, I, I'm, I'm being very careful, obviously. You guys know that, though. Take that pistol. I'm going to repair mine really quick. Don't need a hammer. Although their, their outfits are so good, even though they're heavy as hell. Let's... I don't want to wait. I want to... Items. I'm going to repair this pistol. Get some more damage back on it. Now we're back up to 11. Even though I'm not using it, I'm going to obviously be using it later. So There's a bunch of powder gangers aka convicts all around here so loot these cash registers for some pre-war money get out of here too oh there's some bottle caps all over the desk here how beautiful what a nice haul we paid back plus one for the six bottle caps that we paid for the the overall sale basically i should say i think this is okay can't even interact with this Let's walk over here. We're obviously going to aggravate more of them. Ooh, a maintenance door. Let's let's pick our first lock. Okay, I know you know how to pick locks. This is if you guys have even played. Okay, so we got to back up and try again. Every two, you you should reset because the third torque that you mess up will do you in. Okay, so I'm gonna do. I should reset every time too, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah. Okay, so let's. Okay, let's do it. Perfect. Okay, so we did that. Maybe this is a good way to flank him. I don't see anyone. Oh, there is one down there. Just got to be very careful. Oh, boy. Please don't walk this way. He's going to kill me. Got to... Ah! Stop it, controller. I don't want to advance on him. But we can try it, at least. I think... This is going to end up killing me. Or at least aggroing a lot of people. Ah, crap. This isn't good at all. Wow, man. They're just pumping into me. Alright, so let's take out this convict here. Headshots only, obviously. Come on, get him once. Oh my gosh, I missed. There we go. That's one. And there's one. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can't do this. Okay, back. Oh, shoot. I'm going to throw some dynamite, actually. Although, I don't want to kill Deputy Beagle, so... Right here is perfect. Yeah, that should help. Oh, that definitely helped. <sighs> Probably killed a bunch of them, which is always good. Throw that down the hallway. You're gonna die. Clowns. Oh, how nice. Is there a guy in it here? Oh my gosh. Throw that right at the ground. Hopefully it kills you. Should. If not... Wow. I'm surprised it didn't kill him. Okay, let's switch back to... 
our shotgun here. We're not switching back to it. We're switching to it. Oh my gosh. That was terrible. Okay, let's shoot him right in the chest here. One to the chest. Oh, that is nice. Don't have enough AP for another. So let's just shoot him there. Okay, good. So, wow. Okay, that was kind of scary. Let's check. Are we crippled at all? Let's see. No, we're not crippled. We used all of our stim packs, though, which is fine, I guess. Let's go loot these guys. Maybe they have some stim packs for us. If not, that's fine. I mean, it just is what it is. We killed the leader, though. That's good. Mm. Oh, he's got f an incinerator, which is nice. We're going to be loading ourselves up here. Butter knife and a cleaver. Oh, boy, is that a conflict? Or is that a convict? Excuse me. Fresh carrot. Don't need any of this. Is he going to kill him? Convict. Yeah, right in the head. Hopefully I don't kill Beagle. Ooh, that's nice. Shot him right over him. That was beautiful. Okay, perfect. And we're good to go here. Let's talk to Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Ha, ah, very funny. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Okay. Hmm, I don't want to set him free right now. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Don't press your luck, kid. Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. Okay, I'll tell you what I know. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. And you won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. Okay, so it looks like we have our next objective, so to speak. Should I... Should I... I don't know if he's going to kill me, because he's red now. I can't, like... That's not good. I think I made him angry at me. That's no good. Oh, well, let's loot his refrigerator and shit. Take all the alcohol in the world. Is that pure water? Oh, that was a good find. Definitely a good find. He's technically an enemy, man? It would be so very yeah, I'm going to set him free. Mmm, if you run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. That sounds good to me. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'll never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it, you lead the way. Hey, he's on my side now. He's a friendly... Is there anything in the oven? Eh, I'm going on a stick. Nothing doing there. I think I basically got everyone here. Oh, no, not this guy, of course. Merc Charmer outfit, that's interesting. And this guy. We're going to find better stuff here the more and more we go along. Let's see if this guy's got anything. Okay, no, just they got their outfits, their little outfits on. Take our Sunset Sarsaparilla like we deserve. I'm actually probably going to drink a few of those. You get bottle caps for drinking beverages that have tops on them that you pop off and kill. Pop off and kill? When you kill them, I should say, because that's what another word to say that you drink them. I wouldn't know that. I don't drink alcohol, but I should know. Let's see. Put it down. Drink our Sunset Sarsaparilla here. Perfect. That should be just enough to get us to where we want to be here. How beautiful. Okay, so now we gotta help with this captors, which I have no problem with. Ooh, Nuka Cola. That's fun. Open the door here. There are a bunch of them littering this area, so. And you gotta be careful. Open? I guess this is another room, so let's open it. Hopefully he's behind us, not running away like we told him to. But we're actually doing fairly well. I'm pretty happy with the results of this area here. Alright, let's get out in front and destroy him. Right there. Oh, I guess we missed him. How did I miss? Yeah, I was going to say, god damn. How's he doing on health? Not very good. Okay, so i got to stay up in the front here. Hopefully he doesn't die. Because that would be bad. Motorcycle helmet, that's interesting. I'm going to leave that there really quickly. Walk through here. I know there's a bunch of guys. I'm going to take some dynamite, actually. I think that would be good for me. Toss it right around here where they are. Or I think I know they are. should be right down there. Down that hallway. Yep, perfect. 
that's a good way to enter a room, I do have to admit. Okay, we got our last guy here. Or one of the last ones, I should say. They all have armor and such, so I should be careful. Yeah, that's right. I got plenty of dynamite, man. I'm not afraid to use it, to be honest with you. Oh, Beagle is dead. Oh, well. I knew that was going to happen. That's what happens, though, I guess. Ooh, a stim pack. That's helpful. Let's go grab some stuff from the vending machine, too, while we're at it. I know we're almost full here, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to activate the water here. Since I'm not really dying from any rads. What the hell? Who's shooting me? Oh, you're right there. I didn't know you were right there, or else I'd... I'm going to destroy...